Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. 200 episodes, you beauty! Yep, 200 episodes, can you believe it? I can't, jeez, it's been almost two and a half years since I started the EEV blog and back then, well, it didn't even have a name really, it was just a blog, a video blog. Lame ass thing, 320 by 200, crusty old webcam in my study. Who would have thought two and a half years later I would be at t- not only at 200 videos, but I've probably done a bit more than that actually, but eh, nice round numbers, good enough. 200 video blogs, and I'm a full time video blogger. Who would have thought? Unbelievable. Last, if you asked me six months ago whether or not I'd uh, be, when I'd, if I'd be able to do this full time, I said, yeah, maybe five years down the track, but nope. As it turns out, this is actually my full time gig. I'm one of the lucky few in Australia that I'm aware of anyway who actually make a full time living out of video blogging. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Basically, uh, and I do it in such a niche area of electronics. Unbelievable. So, just wanted to say thanks. I don't have anything special planned. Sorry. Just a huge thank you to everyone who's watched, everyone who's supported, everyone who's contributed with comments, feedback on the forum, all that sort of stuff. It's helped build the EEV blog into what it is now. And it's, hopefully, it's just going to continue to uh, get better from here. So, I thought I'd share with you some stats of where we're at. Now, because my videos are all based on YouTube, that's where all the uh, stats center around for the views, apart from the uh, podcast version, which I'll mention. Now, on YouTube, I'm up to uh, 2.9 million views, and that's (laughs) remarkable for a niche little video blog, but in the scheme of YouTube, it's it's nothing. You can get 2.9 million views like that if you have some silly little, you know, funny cat video or something go viral. It's crazy. Anyway, it's like a steady increase. I get a steady number of views on each video. You do 200 videos, next thing you know, you're at 2.9 million views. Fantastic. There's Sagan crying in the background if you can hear him. And I'm getting uh, around 6,000 views per day. That's not uploading. That's not people watching new material. That's just people searching for my old material on YouTube. It's incredible. 6,000 views per day consistently just for that. Mind-boggling stuff. And a lot of people ask, how many viewers do I have in that? Bit of a difficult question to answer, really. It's, um, I have 11,000 subscribers on YouTube now, but that number's, you know, bunk as everyone knows. But I've got around 7,000 regular viewers on YouTube, as far as I can gather. It varies depending on the video, uh, pretty much, but there's a solid 7,000 there who watch it either via YouTube or via the blog the embedded video on the blog uh, website, and there's about another 3,000 or so um, that do the iTunes podcast thing, or the RSS uh, podcast version of the show. So that's pretty much around 10,000 total viewers. (laughs) Unbelievable for a niche electronics show. Thanks, guys. And the eevblog.com site, it gets around 6,000 views per day, around 180, 170, 180,000 per month. And the forum, the forum's going gangbusters. It gets uh, almost three quarters of a million views per month, page views per month. Absolutely incredible. And that popularity has uh, basically forced me into now getting a uh, dedicated server just for the blog and the forum, because you may may have noticed it's getting pretty slow uh, recently because it's just CPU throttled. It's just flatlined 24-7 pretty much. Uh, So hopefully soon a uh, new dedicated server will come online and then I will still have um, three other servers or two, one doing the um, amp hour, just dedicated to the amp hour uh, radio show, which is a side thing I do, if you're not aware of it. It's with Chris Gamble. It's a uh, weekly uh, engineering electronics radio show. Um, Just a different avenue from the video blog. But if you like my rants on the video blog, you'll probably like my rants on the radio show too. So tune into that one. And there's another server just dedicated to my other uh, websites and the uh, streaming video as well because they're too much of a strain on the main server which is too busy serving up database queries for the forum and the blog. It's crazy, but it's a good problem to have, right? Too many viewers. 
And one of the neat things is from day one, I've pretty much been seeing just a linear uh, growth up and up. It just doesn't seem to end. It's crazy. It's non-stop. And here's a couple of graphs. Here's the uh, YouTube uh, graph of, that's a, a rolling 30-day uh, average since the start. And as you can see, it's it's pretty linear all the way up. And uh, here is a um, one from the blog uh, website, evblog.com. Once again, monthly linear, fairly linear growth like that. Amazing. So as I mentioned, this is actually my full-time job. I've got a little uh, consulting, do a little bit of consulting on the side, but basically uh, my bills are actually paid just uh, by the blog. So all of the advertising you see on the website and the forum, um, that pretty much uh, pays um, for, for all of the bills. It's quite remarkable. I still can't believe it. So big thanks to the uh, advertisers who stick with me and the sponsors and the forum uh, sponsors. Couldn't do it without you. If I didn't get that, I'd be back to a nine to five job and I, you know, with Sagan in the house, I probably wouldn't have uh, much time left over at all to do the video blog. But hopefully I can continue to do it uh, full time if the money keeps coming in and uh, keeps me afloat. And that's the plan anyway. Um, but I do have actually uh, plans to move out of the tiny space I've got here. Hopefully it's still in the works. I uh, don't know whether or not it's going to happen yet, but uh, that could be some exciting news. Um, so hopefully all of this will be relocated uh, somewhere else because we are running out of space here in the house. I've got two meters by two meters. So hopefully I'll be able to get some uh, room offsite within uh, walking distance of, uh, of my home here. And that will be great. At least it'll be an adventure. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, oh, well, you might find me back here in the garage. And there's no plans to change uh, any of the uh, content at all. It's still gonna remain the same. It's gonna remain off the cuff. I'll be doing reviews, teardowns, rants, uh, just uh, tutorials, and just a whole bunch of random stuff, really. Um, Cause it's, as I've always said, it's impossible to please everyone. I can't always do tutorials. I can't always do reviews. I can't always do teardowns. I can't always do rants, which everyone loves. So it's just gonna be, a, you know, a mix of uh, things like that. Nothing's going to change. So once again, I'd like to say thanks to everyone who watches, whether you're one of those uh, many thousands of silent uh, viewers out there who just, uh, I just see my numbers go up, or you're one of the uh, regular contributors, the forums and uh, things like that, and comments on YouTube. Appreciate everything. So here's to another couple of hundred, or maybe what? Oh, probably won't do this again for 300, maybe for a thousand. Yikes, I'll be old. Sorry guys, I don't have any multimeters to destroy. No marching bands, dancing girls, nothing like that I'm afraid. But I do have Sagan! Sagan's in the house. Hey Sagan, say hi to the EV blog audience. Hello, there we go. Say thank you, because if they didn't watch, then hi. Daddy would have to get a real job and he wouldn't be able to stay home with you all day. <gasps> no. Oh, there we go. He loves being in the lab here. It's great fun, isn't it? Yay. Yeah, look. Oh, he can even walk on the bench. He can walk on the bench. What have we got? A soldering iron down there. A couple of soldering irons. An oscilloscope. Power supplies. <gasps> Moldy meters. Oh, wow. Yay. Component cabinets. Wow. You'll have your own lab. When you get a little bit bigger, you're only, what, 17 weeks now? 17 weeks. Ah, oh, what a big boy. <laughs> Say hi. Look. There's the audience. There you go. There's about 10,000 people out there watching you. And they all think you're adorable, don't they? Yes. <laughs> thanks, guys. Sagan says thanks, too. See you next time. Here's a bit of a retrospective of the last hundred. Hope you like it. See ya. Don't turn it on. Tear it apart. <laughs> Let's go. Now, if you want to get a little bit more tricky and theoretical, then I've drawn some capacitors in here. Once again, the electrical thermal analogy. The Tip number one. Don't even think about a patent. Don't spend a cent on them. It will almost guaranteed to result in a waste of money and time with no benefit 
whatsoever. It's got an 800 by 600 screen, which is about 150 or 160 pixels per inch, but it looks, oh, it's pornographic. It, it, it really is pornographic. It's phenomenal. You know what we say here on the EV blog? Don't turn it on. Take it apart. Don't blame me, but check it out. It looks complicated, okay? It looks <laughs> really complicated, I admit, but it's not. Stick with me. And if you are going to try this at home, remember, kitties, wear protection. There we go. Tell us about this new um, Infinium mixed signal scope. Check it out. Isn't it sex on a stick? Look at the size of that screen. What's the size of that screen? That's like 12, 12 inches? 13. 13 inch screen, okay. Uh, you get a crap looking manual folded paper thing. I don't particularly like it that much It's got the specs and most things you need, but yeah, it's a bit crappy But that's it. So oh Isn't that retro porn for engineers? Oh Brings a tear to the eye. It really does It's been cut out and they've flipped that chip up and They've flipped it on its back and soldered it on the underside like that. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Why they've done that is because it makes the PCB layout uh, possible using a double-sided board. Usually when you get the generic industry events, they're just like a total wank because, well, they're just a whole bunch of rabble of companies trying to flog your shit. The paper money, this funny money, US stuff, and how it's just crap quality paper. It's just garbage. The print looks awful and somebody commented that it smells like well a combination of feet and ass go figure that don't smell like real money to me it's been one hell of a conference but time to head out of here see ya almost forgot the video camera and how much does Jita cost? Jita cost nothing Completely free. Maybe a penny if you have to pay for your ISP. How do you make your money? Volume. Volume. <laughs> Thanks. This time around, I thought I'd give some advice because I'm full of advice. Oh yeah. Wow, this is a real traditional surplus store. I love it. I haven't seen, well, I've never seen anything like this in Australia, that's for sure. It's like a boy in a candy store. I love it. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. NASA. Check it out. <laughs> that is just beautiful. So, don't fall into the free sample cycle. You get what you pay for. You're not always going to get it. Even the professionals don't always get it right the first time. You know who I hate? You know who really gets under my skin? The bloody United States government. Oh. So it's basically a credit card, thin, uh, scientific, programmable scientific calculator. Why? Well, why not? I'll give you just one guess where I want to shove this sucker. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not happy, not happy with DigiKey or Burns, whoever damn well fault it is, I don't care. I've been screwed over. Bingo! It is not random data there it is in plain <laughs> ascii uh copyright 1995 motorola corp you gotta be kidding me where did this shit come from so myth busted everyone's got a tub of multimeters right catch you later so save your money and give yourself some screw you money you won't regret it i promise you and that forms a basic Boost converter. So if a multimeter is working from this 9 volt battery and its cutout voltage is, you know, 6.5 or 7 volts, as some of them are, or even higher, then they're just pissing away a ton of capacity in the battery. So as the cell voltage drops like this, the current will increase like that. And you may certainly recognize the name. Ta da! It's me! Yay! This was one of my uh, most successful test gear projects I had published. But I've got a world first. Nobody else has this. I'm the first to review it. So, what is it? It's the brand spanking new Agilent 2000 series oscilloscope. Oh, check it out.
is there any circuitry inside here? Are uh, Agilin just ripping you off? Is it just the connectors and all the circuitry is still inside the scope? Well, what do you get for your 400 bucks? Good question. Let's find out. Ooh, look at me. I'm a DigiKey catalog. Woohoo! I've smelt that a million times in my career. It's just, I reckon something went poof. That's $12,000 magic smoke. Love it. Ah, oh, man. Agilent, where everything's optional extra. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Absolutely. Canyon road trip time. Let's beat the hell out of this thing. <laughs> Woo! Yeehaw! There he is. Isn't he beautiful? He's having a, what's he doing there? Cleaning himself? Having a feed? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, nice looking spider, the old huntsman. If you take it all the way up, there will be a point where those flyback lines disappear and they become the same colour as the background. You gotta be kidding me! I thought this was the greatest thing since sliced bread! Heaven forbid, did nobody in the marketing department realise that's just an epic fail? Hey, HTC, here's a dollar! Go and buy yourself a clue! You're probably used to hearing some wildlife noises in the background surrounding my house here in the suburbs. Well, I'm trying to shoot a blog at the moment and it's just impossible because of the noise. It's just crazy. These birds just won't shut up. Guys, as you can see, I goofed it. I didn't have my head screwed on and I drilled the hole on the wrong side of the device. That's just a way that you can get triggering on a complex waveform using trigger hold off. It's brilliant, and that's what it's for. Look at this thing, okay? Look! Look, there's modulation on there at 55.5 kilohertz. Five, five, five. You'll know that I couldn't resist myself. I did a triple five timer scam, and yes, it was complete bullshit, of course. There is no secret hidden Easter egg in the triple five timer. Look at that effect. I'm just gently tapping that probe on the desk there, and you can see that there is an, an actual uh, shock response, a, stand, a pretty standard shock response that is picked up by the probe. And there you go, we've got our, uh, our board with our solder paste dispensed onto the individual pads. Now, all we need to do now is take this to our pick and place machine. You've... Look at it, there it is. It's still drawing 6.5 watts. Are you kidding me? God, you fly to the damn moon on 6.5 watts. And, ta-da, we did it. Check it out. Almost forgot one thing. In case you weren't aware, I'm now a full-time video blogger. This is my full-time gig. There we go, it's coming. Ta-da, I see yeah, it. The problem is I haven't held my board, but there it is, bingo. You're gonna need a bin for throwing in all your failed projects, because that's how you learn electronics. You build stuff, you fail, you toss them out, and you try again. White and nerdy. I'm just too white and nerdy. I'm just too white and nerdy. I'm just too white and nerdy. Really, really white and nerdy. First class here at MIT. Got skills, I'm a champion at D&D. &D. MC Escher, that's my favorite MC. Keep your 40 out, just have an Earl Grey team. My rims never span to the contrary. You'll find it there quite stationary. I'm not sure if it's something I did in the teardown, and if it is, well, quite frankly, it's crap. But occasionally, it just locks up and does something weird. What a load of garbage. So overall, I'm very, very impressed with the layout of this board. Uh, layout, uh, component, selection, choices, soldering is first class, there's no soldering residue, the design, I, I can't really uh, fault it at all. And for the fabric, I've got two types. Yes, naturally, wife approved. And check it out, this brings tears of joy. We've got two uh, high sensitivity three volt relays on here, real manly relays that you switch stuff with. None of this electronic switching, stick in a relay. I love it when you turn the rain switch and you hear that click of that relay. You know, oh, you just know it's designed and it's going to measure properly. Happy to say it's completely wife approved. Completely wife approved project. Can you believe it? She even lets me get up in the middle of the night and tinker with this thing. What is it? 
Here it is. Check it out. It's super cool. I call it Project Sagan. Check it out. Isn't it awesome? It's my first neuroelectronic project. It's just great. Oops, I think the power supply's starting to hiccup. It just woke up out of sleep mode just randomly and the power supply's going hup, hup, hup. Now, I've tried debugging this thing, but quite frankly, the probes just don't stay attached properly and all they read out is gibberish anyway. So if you know of any good books on the subject for debugging these neuroelectronics projects, let me know. Wave bye-bye. Sleep mode? Want mummy to put you into sleep mode? Okay. Zonk. With when you've got a uh, pass transistor like this, you can make it operate in constant current mode like this by determining the voltage drop across that current that shunt sense resistor there. You can keep it at a fixed current. And then when it switches into another mode, it can work as a linear voltage regulator. And we forgot the tray, didn't we? But let's sit you on here and see what you weigh, okay? You ready? 3.255. What a champion. Beauty. Ooh, it's your first visit to a Nada cow lab, isn't it? Yeah, you want to go check out the gear? Absolutely. Let's go. Come on. Companies just don't seem to get it. They spend millions of dollars to these PR agencies telling them, oh, how do we deal with social media? This is how you deal with social media, for goodness sake. Oh, it's not rocket science. Through the magic of the EEV block, snap my fingers, I've got one here in the lab. Really, it's here, check it out. Ta-da! The Mitsubishi IMEF. This is the biggest tip I can possibly give you for getting good quality soldering results. Use the finest solder you can, the smallest diameter. Check it out. Made in Australia. You bloody ripper. Don't use uh, too high a temperature. Too high a temperature will just burn the flux, poof, goes up in smoke. Flux is everything. So let's take a quick look at my Dave CAD drawing and see what I've come up with. And remember, if you're gonna try this at home, wear protection. Give it a go. There we go. It's not necessarily the cleanest result there um, because there's a, probably a bit too much uh, solder got on the th on the pins but we can actually clean that up you can actually drag the iron back out like that and get the solder off those pins no problems at all but rest the layout is just I don't know who did this the work experience student here we go I've got my mouse trap or it's actually a much larger rat trap it's the eradicator I love it and uh, and really it is quite a nice symmetrical rotational design i like it brings a bit of a tear to the eye really beauty and it works both ways if you do it for them they'll do it for you somebody else will do it for somebody else etc and it'll just be one nice big happy sharing community awesome group hug ha <laughs> just relying on your rigol you know uh, digital scope it's not too bad but they're noisy and uh, you know they're just not as real time as a good analog scope highly recommend you get one so there you go that's uh ev blog raw i should probably call it quits and uh that's it. So if you like the raw, it's not a regular live show. It's just me doing whatever in the lab. Today, it was building microcurrent units. And there they are. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, all lined up there. Look, it's lovely. Things will go pretty much the same as they always have. You won't mo notice much difference except better products at lower prices.
Oh, here we go. This is exciting stuff. This will be pornographic. What's under here? Oh, you don't do a big die, solid die cast metal thing like this on uh, on an RF uh, spectrum analyzer without having some magic under here. Let's lift the skirt up. Ta-da! Oh, beautiful. Now, Tektronix were originally quite reluctant to let me do a teardown on this thing because they were afraid that I might break their precious $30,000 oscilloscope. But they finally relented, so we've got a teardown coming up. Check it out. But they didn't say I couldn't do a drop test. And we love doing drop tests here on the EEV blog, so why the hell not? Let's drop it. Oh. I... Uh, yeah, don't try that at home.